Guys, are you also frustrated with your old system that has only one GB of RAM and Windows is running slow? Well, it's time to switch from Windows to another OS that not only consumes less RAM, but also provides almost all the features of Windows. And the best part is, this OS is free, fast, and will run smoothly on your system. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install this OS on your old system. So, let's get started. Let's roll. First, let me show you the specs of my laptop, and then we will move to the installation steps. Here you can see, my laptop has only 1 GB of RAM, a Pentium processor, and no graphics card at the moment. So now that you know the specs, let's move on to the next step. For this, you'll need to download the ISO file, and you'll also need Rufus software as well. Plus, make sure you have a USB drive with at least 2 GB of space, and about the ISO file size, it is just around 200 MB, and you can find the download link on my website. First. Insert your USB drive into your PC and launch Rufus. Now, select the ISO file that you downloaded earlier and then click on the Start button. Now you'll see two options pop up. Make sure to keep the first option selected, then click on the OK button. If it asks you to download any additional files, go ahead and let it download them. Once you click OK, your USB drive will begin to format. Just wait for it to complete and you'll be all set for the next steps. Now that the format is complete, I'm going to restart the PC, and I'll record the rest of the process using a hand cam. As soon as your PC restarts, make sure to boot from your USB drive, and after booting you should see an interface like this. There will be several options available, and you need to select the first option. Once you do that, the booting process will start. Now, as you can see, it has successfully booted up, and right now, it's running as a live boot which means it's not yet installed on our hard drive. You can use it this way if you like, but remember, once you remove the USB drive, any work you've done won't be saved and everything will be erased. So we're going to install it on the hard drive for a more permanent setup. To do that, you need to launch the following application. After that, select the universal installer option. Now, you'll see four options. You can either install Linux on your USB drive, which means whenever you plug in the USB Linux will boot from it and your data will be saved. However, since we want to install it on the hard drive alongside Windows, I'll choose the option to install it on the hard drive. If you have more than one hard drive connected to your system, all of them will show up here. You just need to select the one where you want to install the OS. Now, all the partitions on your system will be displayed here. Choose the one where you want to install Linux. Make sure the selected partition is completely empty and has at least 2 GB of space available. Then a warning dialog box will pop up and you need to click OK to proceed. After that, select the appropriate option for installation. The system will then prompt you to install Grub, which is the bootloader. Go ahead and install it as well. Once that's done, the installation will begin. Let's wait for it to finish. Finally, the installation is complete and I'll restart the PC. After the restart, a boot menu will appear where you can choose to boot into Windows or Linux. For now, I'll go ahead and choose Linux. So, as you can see, it has successfully launched and it's running super fast compared to Windows. If I show you the RAM usage, it's only consuming around 100 MB, which is amazing. This operating system offers all the productivity tools you need like Word, Excel, and more. There are many other features as well, but since this video is getting pretty long, I'll stop here. If you want, I can make a separate video to go deeper into these features. Overall, it's a really great OS day, and you should definitely give it a try. If you don't want to install it, at least try it once in live boot mode to see how it works.